Hey, what's up guys, Rep here. So today we have some big updates regarding the ongoing Niji Sanji situation. We're gonna cover two topics, the first being a very serious response that Doki Bird has posted onto Twitter this morning regarding the message that was sent by several of the Niji Sanji EN Livers two days ago. And second, we're gonna cover some updates regarding the Niji Sanji EN Liver, Scarlet, who many people are concerned about based on some activity over the past couple of days. Now, we're gonna start with the Doki Bird update. So as you know, a couple days ago, she was set to stream her first Neopets stream, and this was quickly interrupted by a message posted by Alira Pandora onto her YouTube channel. This was a joint statement between her and fellow Ian Livers, Vox Akuma, and Ike Eveland. This was a statement that was attacking Selene, aka Doki Bird. And to give you the too long, didn't read version of events, essentially these three Niji Sanji Ian Livers threw Selene under the bus. They painted her as a liar and they focused on a legal document that they all viewed and saw as a threat to their personal safety because they believed this legal document prepared by Selene and her lawyers was something that contained personal information that could lead to their public doxing by Selene and put their safety at risk. Now, this, as it turns out, is a legal document that Doki Bird never intended anyone other than the legal parties involved to see. So the fact that these three livers saw this was very concerning to Doki Bird. And when she found out about this statement that was released as she was live streaming, very intentionally by Niji Sanji, she would have this to say. Uh, yes, I really wished I was going to, I really wanted to move on from all of this, but, and was going to move on and everything, um, and was never going to address this anymore, but because they've decided to address it, even though I wanted everything to be over with, um, that is not my fault. And because of this, I will have to I will have to um, respond with um, with a document that my lawyer has and I have written up just in case something like this did happen. So after making those comments, she would quickly end her stream where she'd be quiet on social media until this explosive post she made this morning on Twitter. So let's give it a read. It says, I was ready to move on. I had made my last statement and I haven't looked at anything regarding my past for a full week. I didn't look at anything regarding legal documents or anything regarding my situation since I moved back to Doki. I wanted to be hopeful for the future and never interact with that side again. So to see, I'll come back and reopen a wound that I was ready to heal from and to have to talk to my lawyer again on how to respond. The document mentioned was at first made to document my thoughts and history with evidence so that my lawyer can see the general picture of what was going on and if there were any issues that should be addressed. It was first made during my darkest time mentally, and I wrote everything on my mind by little at that time. I made the document thinking that it was never going to be public to anyone but my lawyer, although it was a document filled with my personal information as well as privacy information that should not be public. There were no other addresses or specific locations mentioned regarding a recording this was not intended to be anything other than a distribution test for planning of a collaboration event between two people, which happened to be left over from one test recording. And I never recorded any other conversations with anyone. The recording was never shown anywhere, even in a legal setting, and there are no other records. However, I regret that it was mentioned, and I am sorry to all the parties affected for the misunderstanding in this. She goes on to say, I requested that I just wanted to move on. Sometimes I didn't hear anything for days from lawyers on the other side, and I felt like I'd be alone and isolated for a long time. It made it so hard for me mentally. On February 5th, my lawyer discussed and said it will be best to show the document I wrote to the other lawyers as we have not heard from them for over a week or any negotiation talks or given a meeting to discuss after my request to part. It was never intended to be used for anything else. I've asked my lawyers to convey that and have communication that the document as it was written wasn't going to be released anywhere. And my lawyer did so when sending the document. Less than two hours later, 
my lawyer, after my lawyer sent the document, the termination notice came out. I was very shocked, but thought that was the last time I will hear or think about the document and that this personally and my own opinion was the end of the lawyers and legal involvement. All the communication was done between lawyers in Japanese. Things are not black and white and everything gets more complicated and muddled when lawyers are involved in a different country. When things are conveyed to multiple parties throughout different degrees of communication, everything turns into different narratives and different translations. I thought it was over and I've accepted what happened and was ready to move on. Everything that I post to the public about the situation was a response. If, the, if it was a month ago, it would have been different as I was angry, but I was also very alone in my head. But it's not a month ago, and I've accepted it. I've wanted it to be neutral and private, but now the whole world is involved and the public is watching every step that happens. I am not perfect and I have faults. I had to watch my dad cry and break down in front of me for the first time in my life last night. Despite everything that has happened, Please show kindness to all parties involved. There are real people behind the monitors. One of the reasons why I wanted this to be private is that the internet can be a cruel place and I knew this would happen the moment this type of notice drops. What I didn't reveal to anyone and only my parents and therapists knew was that it was not one attempt, but two, which happened a few weeks after the first. My parents found me in time after searching for me for hours before anything happened. I was in a really dark place and I don't wish this for anyone. No one should go through what I went through. I reveal this now not for pity, but to state that no life, no matter what, should be risked for ego or winning anything. There are no winners in this. Please don't make it like high school. Treat everyone like adults and with some empathy and kindness. For those who wish to see receipts or documents or anything else, hoping I will, re I will reveal them, I'm sorry, but these are things that should be private and, if needed, between lawyers. Revealing private documents and talking about the details within will only make things worse and more complicated as outside parties get involved and will just hurt everyone. No one deserves to be pushed over the edge. So many people have gotten hurt and involved even if they were innocent bystanders. In the end, I will always be here to respond, and that is the only thing I will do in public. I hope this will be the last statement I have to make. So to sum up what we just read, the, the major takeaways is that we found out that this situation harmed Doki Bird even further than we had known, and also that this, again, she's made this clear over and over again, this was a matter that was supposed to stay private. This was not supposed to be something that came out to the public. This legal document that she was preparing with her lawyer was not something to be shared with anyone other than the legal representation for Niji Sanji. But as we have already seen, there are at least three EN Livers from Niji Sanji who have reviewed this document against the wishes of Doki Bird. And further on, this seems like a very clear path for Doki Bird that she is only going to respond to things that are already being said. It's very clear from the jump here that the second they found out about this legal document, they immediately terminated her. And ever since, Doki Bird has wanted to keep this thing private. But every time Niji Sanji makes a public statement against those wishes, she is going to respond in kind. And hopefully, this response made only a few hours ago will be the last of this public side of this entire situation. But of course, we've seen Niji Sanji continue this situation and, and to continue bringing this up publicly, so I don't have a lot of faith in that, but we'll have to see how things play out. Now, there's also a running meme right now on social media where people are tracking the subs of Doki Bird and Alira Pandora, where the joint statement was made, that was the channel was made on, where there's a race to 550,000 subscribers on YouTube, where Doki Bird is trying to gain subs to hit that number, and Alira is losing subs towards that number. And right now, here's the official tally. You can see Doki Bird at 529,000 subscribers, and you can see Alira Pandora at 574,000 subscribers. Obviously, Doki Bird gaining massive amounts over the past couple of days, Alira losing a lot. And you can see it right here. Ever since the joint statement was made on the 12th, she has lost well over 20,000 
subscribers. And that is the result of really the placement of this video, the fact that it's on her channel, her defending Niji Sanji as well as the defending of Niji Sanji by other EN Livers, this is the most recognizable place you're going to see the damage taking place because that's where the video was uploaded instead of the main Niji Sanji channel. And also people are just upset about what was said in the video, so that makes things even worse. But moving forward, we know she's not the only one losing subs. Niji Sanji as a whole is hemorrhaging subscribers ever since the termination announcement, but it's intensified ever since the joint statement. People are really angry at Niji Sanji as a whole and a lot of the livers in the EN branch. Right now, we have hit over 150 collective, 150,000 collective subs lost by EN livers from Niji Sanji. That is a huge number, and a lot of it has to do with this right here. So ever since the statement was shared by Alira on the Twitter, she shared the YouTube video with her statement, it has been reposted by virtually the entire Ian roster, which has made a lot of people look at the parties involved here a lot differently. Now, there were a few people, a very short few from Niji Sanji Ian, who did not participate in this sharing of the document, and that was Scarlet. Scarlet was one of the main people that was being focused on. This was something I covered in a video uploaded to my alt channel. You guys can check it out. I'll put a link to it in the description. But to sum that up very quickly, she essentially took action by taking action and also not taking action. When I'm referring to that last part, she was one of the few who did not share Alira's message on Twitter. However, the action she took was a very simple one, a simple click. She hearted a comment on her channel saying Kuro Sanji, which means black company, which is what Niji Sanji is being accused of. A black company is a company that exploits the workers that they employ and they don't care about their well-being and it's all about the bottom line and making money. And that's what Niji Sanji has been closely affiliated with ever since the termination of Selen. However, that comment would be unhearted and the comments locked on that video. But since then, Really, Scarlet had been MIA, and it reached really the 24-hour mark where people started a hashtag, much like the Selen hashtag, hashtag where is Scarlet, because people were starting to get nervous as to where she was, because she had gone silent on social media. People got increasingly concerned when she did not show up for a members-only stream. As you can see from this image here, the chat was disabled for the live stream, which is very unusual, and she was also extremely late, and as we know, she wouldn't turn up at all, which is also extremely rare. But at one point, there was over 6,000 people sitting in the waiting room for her streams, and that wasn't the only stream. She was supposed to have a regular stream as well, which she also did not show up for, but as you can see, it has been rescheduled for February 15th. But she did not show up to two streams, so people were worried. However, it seems we have some answers as to her whereabouts. This individual on Twitter claims to be a friend of Scarlet, and he said that he had a phone conversation on Discord where he learned several things. Number one, she's okay, and that she is staying currently with her mother, and she's taking a break from the internet, and she is not going anywhere. She's not terminated or anything like that yet. She's just taking a brief break. And that is something that was reflected in a members-only community post that was uploaded onto YouTube by Scarlet. Of course, that is a members-only paywalled post, so I can't show it, but it basically reflected everything that was just said. She apologized for worrying everyone and that she was staying with her mother and that she will be taking a small break from the internet and she'll be back soon to, once again, stream. But that is the update on where Scarlet has been and the update on the Doki Bird situation. I highly doubt this is the end of the Niji Sanji related drama and situation. But as always, I'll keep you guys posted in the near future if anything pops up. But for now, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please share all of your thoughts about today's topics in the comments section down below. And I'll see you guys next time.